Greetings, everyone. Welcome to another edition of What's Hot with Sea Tranquility. I'm your host, Pete Pardo, publisher and CEO of SOT. Today, we've got a very cool release from a true giant in the Norwegian progressive black metal scene, Borknagar, True North, out on Century Media Records. This is their 11th studio release. 11. And they're getting set to celebrate next year their 25th anniversary as a band. 25 years, 11 studio albums. Pretty damn good, right? This is a band, I think, that uh, probably not at the tip of everyone's tongue when they think of, like, progressive black metal or even just Norwegian black metal, all right? They've just kind of, like, especially here in North America, I think they've kind of fallen under the radar a bit with some folks because they just, they don't tour here. You know, unlike their Norwegian peers enslaved, you know, or Dimmu Borgir, who are here a lot, uh, Borknagar never were, but I think their music is just as compelling. And I always draw a lot of comparisons between Borknagar and Enslaved because I think both bands have really pushed the boundaries of what we expect from traditional Norwegian black metal. Okay, and they both bands have incorporated a ton of like classic hard rock and metal influence as well as progressive rock elements. All right. And it's kind of started with these guys, you know, early on, but really with albums like Quintessence and Empiricism, all right, and you had Epic and Origin, a lot of the albums that came afterwards, lots of kind of prog rock keyboards, all right, and the clean vocals and the harsh, raspy vocals, all right, and a lot of really cool lyrical content, all right, progressive metal instrumentation, some folky bits, all right, just a really, really well-rounded band who I think their their music is just should be so appealing to so many listeners. But again, they just don't they don't come around here anyway often enough. But I know like true black metal fans are well aware of them. Okay, and you've got the current members of the band. You've got uh, Oyston Brun, okay, on guitar, founding member of the band. You got the wonderful, always dependable, ICX Vortex, okay on lead vocals and bass. He has been kind of in and out of the band numerous times, uh, but he's been a constant in the band for the last like eight, nine years. Uh, you got Lars Nedlin on keyboards and vocals, uh, Bjorn Dukstad Rano on drums. Okay, he's fairly new with the band. And then you've got uh, Joystein Thomason on second guitar. He's fairly new to the band as well. So again, the album is True North. All right. Let's see if we can get you a picture of the guys in the band. There they are. Okay menacing looking dudes i love the addition of icx vortex to this band because you know he has done so many great things to so many other bands you know he of course uh played with dimu borgia for many years uh Arcturus. who else has he played with um lamented souls code i mean he's just been he's just has a fantastic clean vocal style all right and he perfectly plays off the rasping you know, extreme vocals uh, from Nedlin. Uh, and it's just really great to kind of hear all these soaring melodies and things like that uh, in black metal music. So you've got, you know, a lot of these tunes, you know, they'll start with the double, you know, the, the blast beats and what have you, and the tremolo picked uh, guitars, and then you've got the soaring keyboards, and then you've got the ah, vocals with these soaring uh, clean vocals. Epic sounding. A lot of great, great tunes on here. You know, you got Thunderous, Up North, The Fire That Burns. Great song. Okay, Lights, Wildfather's Heart, Mount Rapture. All right. Into the White, Tidal, Voices, and Wildfather's Heart. Okay. To kind of finish it all off. And it got a couple instrumental tunes at the end. All right. Instrumental versions of other songs. Just a great, great album, expertly produced. I love the kind of light and shade of the whole thing. Like I said, I love, don't, and I love classic black metal too, right? Classic Norwegian black metal from like the early 90s, that just real evil sounding, dark, primal, raw. Uh, but I always love the bands that kind of pushed the envelope and added in those symphonic elements. And I don't think any other band does it quite as well as these guys do. All right. Enslaved, I rank up there as well. For me, the two bands that are really doing something different in black metal are Borknagar and Enslaved. I really liked what Dimmu Borgia was doing for a number of years, but their last couple albums just, eh, okay, but they're just not doing as much for me as, as stuff like this. I just think this has an epic sound. Like I said, if, if, you, if, you, if you can stomach some harsh vocals, 
Okay, not it's not they're not throughout the whole album. All right, but love big symphonic, almost film score sounding arrangements. Right, and great guitar work, tons of keyboards and synthesizers, and just really great, clean melodic vocals. The, the two vocal style mesh really really well here it's just a big bombastic epic sounding album these guys just do not disappoint all right just some great arrangements on here catchy tunes heavy tunes all right it's just extreme enough but yet just melodic enough as well it's the kind of meaning of melody and, and extremity and it works perfectly and in the end it's really really proggy so i think you will dig this check it out if you have not True North from Borknagar, one of the greatest symphonic slash progressive black metal bands to come out of Norway ever. All right, you heard it here first. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of the people saying that as well. But yeah, if you, if you dig Enslaved and you haven't heard Borknagar, you're missing out. Go check this out. It's out now on Century Media Records. Visit us on the web at www.catranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. Stay tuned tomorrow. Classic live album wars. More new product showcases we've got. Uh, we're going to review the new Magpie Salute. All right. Little Black Crows offshoot band doing quite well for themselves. So stay tuned for that coming up this week as well. And we'll see you real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.